You want to know how much energy your ceiling lights take, like this one here? I show you. So here we are in Home Assistant right now and we can see the Home Assistant Community Store. H-A-C-S, you might know it, you might not know it. If you are a bit experienced in uh, Home Assistant, I guess you know it. And there's a really cool plugin right now. But if you don't know it, you can um, have a look on their page, how to download it, how to install it, if you run Home Assistant as a container or supervised or whatever. And there are multiple tutorials on YouTube how to set it up. So just check them out if you don't know it. And uh, we just start at this point where the community store is already installed. So we got this really cool feature or this Reaper right now that is called PowerCog. So for them, for those people don't, that don't know the community store, you have an extended version of uh, Home Assistant where the community can upload things, uh, some integrations or some um, graphical things if you want to um, have a, I don't know, create a dashboard for your tablet or something and you want these special cards or you want uh, information about Tado or something like this, uh, not not Tado, Tapo, and the camera you want to control it or something like this. And oh, I've already seen this one. And PowerCalk, which I can also write down here, is the one that we want to have a look right now on. You can see it's uh, very popular, popular, if you can see it's uh, 766 uh, stars. So, and if we have a look on it, we can already see what it basically said. It's a virtual power sensor because if you have something like a normal light there, you have the chance or my light that is in front of me, you have the chance to measure it because you got these um, sockets that can measure your power. But it also makes not often so much sense because why do I even need this one? If I have a smart bulb, why do I need uh, a smart plug for this too, just to measure how much uh, energy it takes? is not really the nicest thing. So, and this can help you right now. And it's even better for the, those things if you have something like a light on the ceiling and uh, you got multiple bulbs, like um, you got six Philips Hue bulbs or something like this, you can all measure them. And that's a very good and nice thing if you want to measure your energy, which is probably a German thing because who wants to know how much power it uh, your ceiling light takes, but I want it, I want it. So let's have a look. You can see already that in the GIF that is running here 24-7, uh, depending on how the light is uh, set, so the, uh, is it saturation? It's not saturation, it's the um, brightness, how the brightness is set. You can see how much uh, what it takes right now, how much power, how much energy. And um, that's really cool. And that's the main thing of it. You can also do it for, like it says here, some old fans, some fans maybe, some sp smart speakers or whatever that don't have a built-in power meter like this smart plugs. And um, it's really easy to use it. So first of all, we need to install it. Norm normally, if you would not, not have installed it, it would say uh, install right here. But for me, uh, I already got it, of course. How it looks is basically when, when, you, got it con uh, when you got it configured, then it's in the integrations. Because you got you click to the integrations, then you got power cord between all the other things here. And I got 15 devices right now. You can see there are some kind of lights that are um, spots mirror, that's spot spiegel. And um, this mirror spot is uh, some spot on my hallway at the ceiling. And uh, that's something I cannot measure. How, how should I measure it? I cannot attach a smart plug to it. We can see right here. It, right now it takes uh, 0 .0, 0 0.3 uh, watt and has taken energy since I measure it 0 0.117 whatever kilowatt. So no matter, you can see it and uh, that's uh, everything I want to show you there. But I also want to show you this kind of overview, which of them are also here because you still got the chance to configure it um, later. If we go to the spot mirror thing, I want to have uh, an energy sensor that is telling here. So we got this toggle on. You could also have a utility meter. You can watch what uh, other things you can do with it. But normally it would be enough to have it like I have right now. Uh, you can e also have some things like you want to 
you want just to add this kind of power or you want to have the power just measured when there is some kind of condition. I don't know a use case for this, but there will be a use case, I guess. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. There are also multiplication uh, factors or something like this. And what should be happened when it, it's not available? How, would, how, should the, how should the energy be measured? Because if it's not available, maybe it's broken or, I don't know, your energy in your house or in your street is down, whatever. Um, that's basically how the configuration looks. But I will show you right now how it really looks if we delete this one, for example, and um, add it again. So we are here. We need to add, click on add integration. We type in power cork. And we have now the option to say, what do we want to add? We got virtual power manually or manual where we can say, okay, manual means you really have to say, how much is it, uh, how much does it take? Is it, I don't know, on uh, full brightness, 2.0 watt or, or, I don't know, 20, and in standby, how much is it? You can configure it. It is the case if your bulb or something is not in this library, because the library is community driven. This community driven library is so cool because people are just adding the values for your bulbs. This, that means you got some Phil Philips Hue filament um, bulb and it is already added in the library. You can just select your specific model and then you are good to go. You have everything, you have everything set and you measure your bulb. That's very cool. You can also create groups or also energy from real sensors or daily energy. You can do very much, uh, very many things with this. Sorry, my English. And uh, for now, we are just uh, have a look at virtual power library. So we take the one we took out, the spot mirror run. You can also give it uh, another name, but the name will be took from it uh, anyway. So if you have named them correctly, there's no need to. But I also want to add them to a group that I have done before. That are my hallway ceiling lights. That's this group right now. And I say, I want to create an energy sensor. So what you have seen, power and energy, these both sensors will be um, created. The utility meter is also that you can measure it, uh, yeah, like it says, daily, hourly, or in some kind of uh, cycle. Might be useful for some use cases, for just a simple light, not really. So, and that's the important thing right now. You need to know who has built this bulb. So for example, was it Philips, was it LED Wands? And you can see there are so many things. Is it Tuya, TP-Link, for other things, Müller, Licht, Paulmann, whatever. And let's just say for now Signify, because it's Philips, as you know. And then you have to choose the exact model. So you can say, I don't know, you can see how many it are. You have the model, I don't know the model right now for me, I have to change it afterwards, but no problem. It's LWA008. So, okay. Yeah, I got something um, that's not accepting. It's not really, I guess it's something with uh, multiple colors and um, I just got the warm option, make it warm or cold uh, looking. So I guess he's uh, telling me, ah, you can't use it. Maybe this one is going. Yeah, this one works. And that are the extended options we have already seen before. And that's it, basically. You can say something that you want, like what, what should be the power when it's not available, like zero, whatever. And you're done. So oh, it takes, it tells you success and uh, devices were found. It's now attached to it. And um, you can say, okay, in which um, area it also is, if you use areas in Home Assistant and you are done. So if we have a look then in our energy dashboard right now, we can see it. And uh, I guess I don't have this one exactly here because um, I don't need to have one bulb because I only need my ceiling lights of the hallway which are these ones, where are them? Here are the ceiling lights, we have now um, 0 0.03 um, kilowatt, so uh, it's not really much, but I still measured it. I know how much it takes. So you can, as you know, change it here, your dashboard, and maybe add it. I also could right now do something like, um, maybe we just go for the single devices and say, okay, we want to have the mirror one and say okay edit and go back and now we can see it has 1.0.0.1 uh, kilowatt made in this day that's basically it how you can use it 
and how you do many many things with it you can measure uh, measure things uh, really cool tool and feature and i hope you like this video and if you want to see more of this kind of content let me know in the comments and yeah have a good day don't worry about your measurement about your energy abusement thank you for watching bye bye yeah.